Lads, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I need content. I need videos. And by doing that, I am spending like 70 euro on Steph Curry. You know what? It's probably better value than T-Mac. I'm like, I don't think I'm even crazy to say that. I think he is actually better value than T-Mac. So we have got Diamond Stephen Curry. And we only had a few of the cheap guys, so let's just discard them. Is it worth adding them to an exchange? I don't think any exchanges are worth it, so let's just sell all these. We made a little bit empty. And yeah, we've gotten the Stephen Curry card. The packs are super expensive as well, so like for anyone. And anyone being like, oh, I've gotten all the other cards from cheap packs. You better believe that the other guys are expensive. So let's go to my collection and go to season one. Let's get Steph. Let's get the Steph and Curry fella. So Steph Curry right here. Let's see how the man's going to play. So obviously coming in for Derrick Rose in my team. Obviously going to start the point guard. He's got 97 three ball. Like 92 ball handle. 85 steel, which is good. 88 speed sweep on acceleration. 84 lateral. And he's got agent threes, blinders, limitless range. Dead eye Spock finder. Like this is a 92 overall, but this is literally just this is literally just Steph from last year. I want to check st what Steph from 2K23 looked like here. Like, is there much of a difference? The like the limitless one. Um, where is he? 90, 95, five. No, to be fair, he had seven extra golds. He did have seven extra goals, and he had a couple more defensive badges, whereas you don't have any on this stuff. Something, I guess. But still. But still. Chef Curry, like, the guy is going to be him. He's going to be him. Like, getting some budget guys on the way to getting him, though, is, like, the one kind of redeeming quality. The way he moves is elite. That jumper is so nice. It's so nice. He's not even really a glass cannon. Like, he's not the greatest defender in the world, but he's not a bad defender. The only thing is, though, is he's now shorter than last year. Is this one 6'2 as well? Yeah, so he's shorter than last year. The release, even on normal timing, is pretty nice. See how his dribbling is just in, just normally. Uh, right stick dribbling. He feels kind of decent with the left stick. He moves nice. He moves really nice. Yeah, he for me, he's that little bit above, above a Kyrie. I just want to see what range the guy has. Like, obviously, he can green from there. Like, I want to see, can he green from here? I want to see, like, really where um, Limitless range is. I mean, he can green from there. It's a, da it's a gigantic logo, so, like, greening from the logo has probably been possible with Limitless range in every 2K before, from this range. But, like... The guy can actually green from close to half court. As long as he's not shooting the half court heave animation, it seems like he can green. Yeah. Like. That is kind of wild. Can you still do the front escape? I thought I did it the previous time. Nah, you can't. But he's still Steph Curry. Can he dunk? I know he's got like a 40 dunk, but can he dunk? Yeah. That's all you need. All you need is a guy who can physically dunk and you're pretty good. And also, like, the guy's duo with Draymond Green gives him seven hoffs. Wow. That is that is huge. That is huge. So anyway, now let's go on green a three. Let's green another three. Let's green a three with Steph Curry. Let's green a three with... Let's green a three. A deep three with Steph Curry. Mick, what is wrong with you? Oh my God. Can I just green one from deep? That's all I want. One. That'll do. That'll do. And after you green with Steph... You gotta go and, uh, what am I doing? You green with Steph? 
Oh my god. I actually like the replay, I just don't know how to use it yet. You go and uh, find a picture like this. You take yourself out of the picture. And we got the thumbnail shot. Let's go and play the game right here, which is death. But uh, yeah, his duo with Draymond, he does get a couple extra hops. He gets catch and shoot with Slither. It doesn't really matter. Um, but Draymond gets a plus 12 three ball. So Draymond becomes a god if you got both of them, to be honest. Uh, Draymond probably becomes the best power forward in the game. Um, other than maybe AD if you want to run him there. So let's go into TT Online. And let me go and replace him with the Steph Curry fella. Let's move the mic down a little bit. Hopefully we can find a game pretty quickly here. Shouldn't take too long. And my uh, controller charge anyway. Okay, so we're playing against a guy with two really good free players in Cam Whitmore and Jabari Smith and a really nice player that you can get pretty much guaranteed get for free in Desmond Bain. Okay, we just need to lock him down for one possession. I hate this camera so much. And there's nothing I can do. I've tried every... I've tried all your guys' tips. I'm literally stuck with this camera to start every single game. Get off the floor. That's green, like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure my opponent just got bamboozled there by his players. Or not by the players, by the guys on the floor. But I really like these yellow on my team jerseys. The yellow and blue ones. Give me that, Steph. There we go. We may have just missed every single shot and shoot around to end it, but... Steph's still cooking. Not a chance. Free. Let's run. Late. I've... Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, he contested very late on that. Oh, yeah, Steph. It's just too... Really? He missed the white. That's a bit of a surprise. Good job. And Steph hits again from deep. All right, he's... He is that guy. He's that guy. Like, there is definitely... It's too deep. There is definitely a gap between him and Kyrie. As much as I love Kyrie, there's a gap between Steph and Kyrie. Leaner. I really... Please tell me. He lost takeover because the game made me step out of bounds for no reason. And he goes and hits a white with Cam Whitmore. I got hit a white with a 97 rated three ball. And he hits a white with Cam Whitmore. What's his three ball? His three ball is definitely in the 70s. I'm pretty sure. Crab him. Got him. Pass. Good pass. Right into AD for the layup. Come on. All right. So we're one shot off against takeover Steph. And when he gets take, it's GG's. We just make our next shot or get an assist in the next play. It's fine. Chill in the middle, ID. All right. Good board. Take it to the basket. Easy layup, Steph. Come on. I wish he could do his like 2K16 scoop layups, but it doesn't really matter. Next time he gets the ball, as long as he doesn't foul this possession, he's got to take. I'll leave. He can really go Desmond Bain. This guy's the weirdest offense ever. I actually don't understand what he's doing. That's off. Give me that. Oh, really? I thought he could green that could have green that one.
and I airball it with take. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I'm not good enough to hit just stupid shots with him, I guess. But I can do that every single possession. That works. Alright, so he's got like... He's done like a third of his takeover. Good. Good cut. Ethical back cut. That is not a rack cut. That is a, the way I play defense there. That is an ethical back cut. That is like textbook ethical back cut. Double team from deep, Steph. Don't do him like that. <laughs> Good shot, man. Good shot. Steph does make the game exponentially more fun, though. Like, genuinely, Steph makes my 2K exponentially more fun. As much as I like, I actually think Kyrie's really fun. Like, if there's ever a player that I just like to cook with, it's always Steph. Ah, that's game. What a freaking card, lads. What a card. Don't buy him. He's not worth it, but he's so good.